Heyo! What is going on guys, it's Triple G here back with another Outriders video and today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you can do to help you boost up those second, third and fourth characters when you're ready to play an alternative. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch where we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video. So you've got to world tier 15, you've got to challenge tier 15 and you've found yourself a nice lot of legendaries and a few set items for your armor and now it's time to go and play another character however the thought of playing through the story again a story that is you know pretty difficult and getting through all the challenges and the world's tiers seems pretty daunting however there are some things that you can do and some things you can't so i'm going to be brutally honest with you right here right now you cannot boost up your character by you know just pushing it through the game you cannot just have the items the items are locked in by level those levels are defined by what world tier and what challenge tier you are so you are going to have to grind through the game that being said you can give those characters a significant boost to their armory via your first character so if you're like me you're only really looking for legendaries however you're still getting a ton of purples and the purples have both tier one and tier two mods on them so here's the plan what you do is you take all your purple items and instead of destroying them which you're probably doing right now because you're only looking at legendaries you're going to put them in your stash then what you're going to do is you're going to fill this stash up with as many different mod variations as you can tier ones tier twos all of the above you're going to then fire up your second character and dismantle all those mods meaning that when you first go and unlock the crafting station through the story which is very early on through the process you will then have a nice full screen of tier tier two and potentially some tier three mods that you have just got from your other character so we, it is a significant advantage it's a very very good advantage when it comes to weapons if you're synergizing with say a pyro and you want lots of ash you can bring those ash modifications through by dismantling them off other weapons and then you have them straight away and remember it doesn't cost a lot to put a mod on a weapon or an armor piece but it will make a significant difference to your build and to your character while you're going through the story and whilst we're on the subject of going through the story unless you are absolutely set on grinding through the story and increasing your world tier there is no actual benefit on alternative characters to actually grinding through those higher world tiers so put it on a nice simple world tier and just cruise your way through so there you have the guys as i told you at the start of this video very simple very honest you're not going to be able to boost your character's xp through it but you are going to make its life much easier by transferring the modifications across via just spare purples that you'll just gather as you're playing through on your first character guys if you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise i'll catch you on the flip